Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make deuterium, uh, which is a fuel or chemical uh, that is made as part of the mechanism mod and is used as a fuel uh, for the mechanism generators uh, and to make other different, more advanced chemicals uh, that you might need throughout using mechanism in Sky Factory 4. Now, if you have any uh, questions about this tutorial, please know that it is also part of a series I'm doing on how to make the Mechanism Fusion Reactor, uh, and I will link the tutorials for that and the other fuels needed down in the description of this tutorial. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So, uh, three main components we're going to need for this build is going to be an electric pump. Okay, that's going to be three osmium ingots, two enriched alloy, one steel casing, and one bucket. You're going to need a filter upgrade, which is two pieces of glass, two enriched alloy, and pulverized tin. And you're going to need an electrolytic separator, which is an electrolytic core two enriched alloy, two redstone, and four iron ingots. Now, you're also going to need an RF power source. Um, I'm going to be using just a creative battery for this build, but any source of RF will work perfectly fine. So any of the generators, other reactors, any source of power will work just fine. I'm also going to be using the energy cables and extraction cables from the cyclic mod, and we're going to need a bucket of water. All right? We've got a lot of extra room for this build because it's part of a bigger build. What I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and start off first by setting up our pump. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set our pump down right there. So up is where the pump is going to put water and out the back is where it needs to get its power from. We're going to go ahead and stick a battery right there. We're going to connect that, crank it up, and now this pump has power. Now, it's important that you click on the electric pump, click on upgrades, and put your filter upgrade inside of this before you put water underneath. If you don't, it's going to start pulling water up inside of it, and that's not what we're looking to make here. We want to make heavy water. That only works with the filter once it's put inside. So we're going to go ahead and put the water underneath, and we'll just go ahead and fill it. Hole, and now we click inside, we'll see that it's got plenty of power and it is starting to generate heavy water. Now you can go ahead and put speed upgrades in here, power grades, whichever one you want to use. I think I'm not sure it's compatible with the power, but I know it's compatible with the speed and that might make this run a little bit faster for you. So that's the first component that we're looking at. The next component is our electrolytic separator. For that, we're just going to set it right on top. Okay. So the electrolytic separator literally takes water and separates it into two different things. So we're going to go ahead and provide it some power. And the heavy water is already coming in, and it's creating two different things. Deuterium on the left, which is what we're here for, and oxygen, which can also be useful in other builds. In this build, we don't need that, so we're going to switch this from idle either dumping excess, which will fill this up, and then after that, it'll just disappear. Or you can put dumping, which just keeps that empty, which is usually better unless you need the oxygen for something specific. This is going to allow the deuterium to just go ahead and fill up here. And then when you're ready, you can pull that out and either run it directly into a machine, like your um, fusion reactor from Mechanism, or into a tank of some kind. So if you're looking to do a tank, any of the basic gas tank, advanced gas tank, elite, or ultimate gas tanks will work perfectly fine. That's where our, your tubes are going to come into play. Go ahead and, again, if you look at this, head on. This is on the left-hand side. This is on the right. So the oxygen would have come out the right-hand side. We want what's coming out of the left-hand side. Go ahead and we put our tank on the end of that. Click on here. You'll see that it is now filling up with deuterium. So I can put it in a tank and then you take the tank somewhere else, uh, or I can just run it directly into a machine or both. I could have it going into a tank so 
so that there's if there's any overfill it'll store in here and then have that tank that connecting to whichever machine that's normally how i connect the fuels to my fusion reactor so that way if uh, this can go ahead and build up extra in here because it will produce it faster than the actual reactor is going to need uh, so it's handy to have that extra there just in case you have some clog or problem with the system you need to work on you'll still have plenty of fuel to work with uh, but this is pretty much self-contained at this point. The water doesn't, doesn't disappear, so your pump is going to be continuously producing heavy water. And your electrolyte separator only needs that component, so it's going to be continuously filling up your tank until such time that your tank is empty. Um, so that one's not a really hard one to put together, but it does have a couple of steps. And again, that deuterium uh, you'll find useful for several different builds. Uh, and uh, compounds that you're going to use with mechanism, uh, but specifically uh, the fusion reactor. Uh, the mechanism fusion, not to be confused with the nuclear craft fusion reactor, which is also in Sky Factory 4 and has several advancements for it. The mechanism one that I'm talking about. Uh, some of these fuels still can be used in the other fusion reactor. Um, so definitely being able to make this type of fuel can be helpful in a lot of different ways. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I possibly can, uh, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, you can also uh, join me on any of my streams. I stream here on YouTube uh, Sunday and Monday nights starting at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And most of the rest of the week, I'm over on my Twitch channel, only Draven Gaming. That's no space or underscore, just the names together. Uh, swing on by there, give us a follow, and uh, even if I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm always happy to answer questions if I can. Uh, so if you have questions or projects you'd like to work on on stream, uh, jump on in. I'm always looking for some fun stuff to do there. Uh, you can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. You can contact me through the email down at the very bottom of the page, and on there as well you'll find my streaming schedule and where you can find me different days and that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.